Hello, I'm Philip. Philip Smith, and I'm doing a PhD. What's it about? I'm glad you asked. Video games, they're great. You love them, I love them. But some people don't. You know the ones. <clears throat> Why do you spend so long playing video games? You're not being very productive. Maybe go outside and touch grass. Now, imagine you could turn to them, turn your nose up, and smugly proclaim that, Aha! I am not wasting time having fun, for you see, I am helping science! Ah, uh, yes, that would be nice. Now, on a totally unrelated note, citizen science! Do you know what that is? If you do, congratulations! You're one of the very few people that I won't need to explain it to. Yay! And if you're not, eh, it's okay. You're the majority of the population. <sighs> anyway, citizen science! Think of it as outsourcing scientific work to regular people. And no, I don't mean throwing them headfirst into some new software they've never seen and expecting them to plot some exploratory structural model. We're not sadists here, I think. No, no. Citizen scientists do the simpler tasks of, say, taking pictures of birds, labeling pictures of birds, marking down where they took said pictures of birds. These are all tasks, simple enough that any able-bodied volunteer can do. And many do! So many people actively contribute through citizen science that it actually rekindles some of my hope in humanity! But with simplicity and work naturally comes boredom. There's only so many times you can ask someone to tell you if they think it's a boy snail or a girl snail before they get tired. This brings me to gamification. For those that don't know, this beautiful concept is when you put game elements into some sort of task. Like when your favorite coffee shop gave you that stamp card, telling you if you filled it up, you get a free frap. Or when your boss makes a game out of completing that 50-page report by five, or you're fired. You know, fun! Now, clearly, not every game is fun, and even being fun has its levels. That's kind of the point of my research. We've had Citizen Science gamified before, and people responded well, but when you consider the playtime numbers of games like World of Warcraft and Call of Duty, you start to see that untapped vein of gamer potential. Now, other, smarter people than myself have already started looking into this. Massive multiplayer online science have been awesome, starting projects with games like EVE Online and Borderlands to create some amazing citizen science minigames. What I'm doing differently is I want to figure out how to make a standalone game that's core is citizen science, but still engaging enough to play on a regular basis. Basically, I'm trying to construct a framework, a set of guidelines that any developer can look to so they can make the game that they want to make for science. But how do you measure fun, I hear you ask? Easy! Sorta. I'm using self-determination theory, which basically tells us that at least when it comes to games, you have intrinsic and extrinsic motivators. An extrinsic motivator is some outside reward like game trophies, social acceptance, and sometimes just plain money. Intrinsic motivation is what you get while playing the game, like immersion and reactive controls. Finally, let's address that algorithm-shaped elephant in the room, huh? AI. You may have heard of it. Bit of a hype subject now. Why invest anything to engage human volunteers when our enslaved robot brethren can do that work for us? Well, thankfully for me and the entire foundation of my PhD, citizen science isn't on its last legs. I know, because smart people are saying so. A long technical story short. Citizen science and AI have already been working side by side for years, both influencing the other. And with how AI models are built up and taught using human experience and input, citizen science still has a place in this dystopian silicon world. So yay, I'm not a relevant yet. 
On a personal note, this research is actually something I started back in my master's. After watching the intro video to Borderlands Science, explaining what citizen science was, I've been set on this as a research topic. I wanted to figure out why not more game companies put citizen science into their game, and how I could convince them to do so. My ultimate goal in my academic career is to help expand the use of video games from purely recreational activities to viable avenues for aiding in real-world problems. And as petty as it is, I would love to get to the end of this after making a positive step in improving public relevance to video games and look at all the naysayers and say, yeah, I do play video games for science. Anyway, thanks for listening. You've been a great audience. We should do it again sometime. Wish me luck. Bye-bye.